When Alex was born, he was born at 34 weeks. 13 days after he was born, he ended up with a severe infection and it caused downstream effects later in life. But then things got a little more complicated as he got older and um, we never knew all the underlying conditions that Alex had. So we were so focused on GI issues, we never knew he had a traumatic brain injury. At that point, um, things just changed for us. We found that he was seizing subclinically. It wasn't till later when they got more aggressive, he had eye rolling episodes, and then that was the indication for us that there was something really, really wrong. It was just strange to me that he wouldn't look at me in the face. When you have a child, you wanna connect with them, and you want them to connect with you, and through your eyes you feel that um, you have that communication, that that, that um, bond, I guess, and um, uh, Alex and I didn't. So we went to an ophthalmologist, and it was right before Christmas, and he told us that Alex was essentially blind. And in the beginning, the diagnosis was basically that Alex was blind, that he would never see, basically to go enjoy your, enjoy your son. But once you start looking, you find out that there's there's resources out there and there's you know, world-renowned resources right here in the United States. They just happen to be in Pittsburgh. Through the research, we found an amazing lady in um, Pennsylvania who was heading up a CVI unit. So CVI is cortical visual impairment. It's nothing to necessarily do with the eyes. That's the unique thing about it. It's really an issue with the brain. and. It's the connections between the brain and the eyes, really interpreting what you're seeing, being able to file that and retrieve it and bring it back. And uh, she was doing uh, quite a few research studies and uh, we decided, you know what, we're, we're going to go and visit her and uh, see what she can do for Alex. So we were on the next flight out. Everybody flies to Pittsburgh when we show up at Dr. Christine Roman Lancy's office. And she takes us in this little tiny room and she turns off the lights and she takes this red shiny ball and this flashlight and you're thinking, I just flew all the way to Pittsburgh and you've got basically a Christmas ornament from the dollar store and a flashlight. Puts it up to the side, about 10 seconds later, grabs it. First time we've ever seen him grab anything because other than that, we were approaching his vision head on. We were, we were not in his sweet spot. So when we came back here to Easter Seals, we kind of explained what uh, Dr. Roman Lancy was providing us as far as strategies go. And uh, it really brought a lot of interest with our therapist because some of the things that she had suggested were really amazing things, but how how do we do those things? Easter Seals has been with us since he was nine months old. So Easter Seals has really been a, a part of our family. We've been fortunate enough to have this resource here in the Peoria area. He's doing so much more because of the things that we brought to Easter Seals to help the therapist help us and help so many others with our, our journey with, with CBI. I think the bigger piece with it as well is just building your, your network of people. I think you realize that you're not alone um, is the biggest piece. And um, when you come here, you realize that, right? People are struggling just, just like you in different ways. Alex has really grown not only you know, into our family, but he's grown into our community too. There isn't anywhere you can go where somebody doesn't know Alex. Kind of been a unique experience, I think, for us. And it's, it's a lot of burden to carry to have, you know, to have a child with special needs. But when you're out and you realize, you know, there's a whole community behind you. You don't really understand what Easter Seals is or what they do until somehow you have a connection to it. And so I think we always knew that Easter Seals provided services. But what I think you miss is what they do for families. They provide services to our kids, but it doesn't stop there. It goes right through into the family. I think without having their Easter Seals in central Illinois, our, our outcomes would be a lot different than they are today.